Hey guys, it's Torrential Soulful. Starting on a new project here. This is a uh, treadmill motor I had for a while. It's uh, one I used in my bicycle generator a couple years ago now. Uh, let me read you the specs of it, or let you see it. It's a two and a quarter horsepower, 130 volt DC, 18 amp treadmill motor. It's uh, also a permanent magnet DC motor. So, um, it's a uh, clockwise rotation, I believe. Is it? Yeah clockwise rotation so um, pretty much when you spin power I mean when you spin this uh, motor here it produces a DC voltage DC power so right here's just a small diode I'm using which uh, not gonna be a permanent diode not once I get the uh, wind turbine fully assembled not gonna be uh, using that diode because it will blow really easy because this uh, as you see it could put out at the most 18 amps at 130 volts DC so uh, yeah I'm going to uh, do some experimenting with it and see if I could uh, build me a turbine for uh, very little money and uh, pretty much I recycle materials I have laying around right now so I may have to buy a couple parts but I'm going to try to build this as inexpensively as possible went ahead and got my blades built here you see I've used a uh, three inch uh, PVC pipe. What I've done is I just split the PVC pipe down the sides there. Let me uh, stand it up here to get you a better idea. Split it right down the sides in half and um, just screwed it onto the flywheel that came off the treadmill motor and um, done really well. Uh, really not much to say about it really. Uh, the flywheel though hopefully it won't give me no problems but my treadmill motor is a clockwise uh, rotation motor and this flywheel here is left-handed threads which means if you turn it to the right it's actually going to <clears throat> it's going to uh, loosen instead of turning to the left uh, how a normal screw would you know loosen to the left but this one would um, listen to the right or you know left hand threads so um, if I, it gives me a lot of problems I was just going to drill right through this and through the motor shaft and everything and just put me a pin in there but uh, I'm gonna try just to use some thread locker on it and see if I can get it tight enough where it uh, hopefully won't back out but uh, I got the blades built here um, see right here I had to try a couple times before I got the uh, holes just right um, but you know I really didn't have no problems out of it this is a schedule 40 PVC pipe here I just had laying around um, figured I'd try to make me some blades before I purchase them and I believe they're going to work out good. Here's the uh, tail section of the wind turbine. I used an old piece of metal I got from an old dryer. Um, ignore the PVC pipe here. This is was just an idea I had. I'm not going to use this idea. Um, I'm actually going to attach a Lazy Susan right here and I mount it uh, on my pole that I have in the ground. Um, or whenever I put it in the ground I should say so uh, PVC pipes just something I left in there uh, just ignore that I'm not gonna be using that but uh, there's a tail right there um, painted black this was an old dryer so it was a yellow color it was really old uh, <clears throat> but yeah there's a piece of metal didn't uh, straighten out the edges or anything I don't think it'll give me any problems so uh, the dimensions of this is roughly I don't know 25 by 17 well you know what let me just get the tape measure and i'll give you the exact measurements here all right so there's the length of the tail about uh 29 and a half inches roughly the uh, long part there let's go ahead and measure the width here all right so the width here let's look at the width about uh 19 and a half inches so we're just gonna round up and say uh 30 by 20 inches here's the tail so that'll definitely help catch the wind and point the uh wind turbine in the proper direction um, the wood here let me uh, measure the wood real quick all right so the wood there is uh, about 45 and three quarter inches so uh, I really didn't measure the wood I just had this piece laying around which you see it's a recycled uh, piece of wood here um, and uh, I just uh, used it pretty much I just cut it down aside there were some uh, bad places on the ends of the uh, two by four there, but just cut it off. So I really didn't measure it to an exact length as you saw um, But yeah, I'm gonna try to make this out of all recycled materials um, Possibly we'll have to buy a few parts here and there like a, a lazy Susan Baron 
to uh, make the uh, wind turbine swivel and maybe a couple other things but uh gonna try to build this as cheaply as possible which i believe i can i got most of the parts laying around or i could uh repurpose them got my uh pole right there in the ground see got it securely in the ground this was actually two um two by fours which i've nailed together make a four by four i didn't have a four by four so just use a couple two by fours i had laying around my uh scrap pile back there but um i buried it about two feet in the ground um from the ground all the way to the top is roughly nine feet um i am going to add some guide wires to it to uh secure it and um, from swaying and getting flimsy in top. Let me uh, show it to you real quick up here. See it's still pretty uh, Pretty unstable without the guide wires just because of the lengths sticking up out of the ground, but uh Yeah, got the uh tower up if you call it that More like a pole, but a proper term is the tower wind turbine tower So uh, that's what I'm gonna be using for mine uh, Like I said, I'll be getting us some guide wires to uh, you know strap tie down the uh, tops and uh keep it from being so wobbly and on the very top up there I'm gonna be mounting my uh, wind turbine there be having my lazy Susan on it up there on top <clears throat> and um, you want to mount it like that so it can swivel real nicely so uh, still got to buy the lazy Susan and uh, a couple other parts to make this uh, wind turbine work so uh, but anyways I got the uh, tower up so um, Hopefully this wind tower will perform pretty good for me. I really don't get too much wind. Today is actually a, a fairly breezy day for me where I'm uh, located. You probably even hear some wind on the microphone. Um, but most of the time, I, solar is the way to go for where I'm at. But uh, it's going to be good for uh, like thunderstorms and stuff. I know I, we get a lot of thunderstorms right here where I live. Um, so uh i get wind obviously uh, a lot of wind for that matter so uh hopefully the wind generator or wind turbine will work out really well so uh all right guys well i just wanted to show you that got my uh, tower up so um all i gotta do is mount up the uh wind turbine and uh do some wiring on it let's add some guide wires here i just used some uh, yellow tent pegs there to secure it down and some uh paracord there uh, there I just put a nail inside my tower um, like I said I'm trying to do this as inexpensively as possible so I'm just using parts that I have on hand like you know the paracord I already had the paracord and everything so I didn't have to uh, spend any money on that tent pegs I had them laying around they're actually broke the uh, little hook part on them they broke but these actually have a hole in it right there so I just uh tied my paracord on there got uh, secured on three sides here that's all the tent pegs I had I only had three of them so uh, yeah I think that'll do good it uh, helps strengthen up the pole stability a lot it's not uh, as wobbly anymore testing out the prototype here testing see how it's doing it's doing uh, okay I guess it's pretty windy but it's not really spinning much I'm thinking having a flaw with my blades, design flaw with my blades there. Have it mounted right there. You see my uh, orange extension cord right here, follow it down on the ground. Have it hooked up to my voltmeter. I mean, it spins, but it's not, doesn't uh, spin a lot. This is actually a windy day for me. You see, it's really not spinning much at all. Yep, not even spinning right now. So I'm pretty sure I have a design flaw in my uh, blades here. You see in the back, the trees are blowing. So, um, but yeah, this is a windy day for me. And uh, with all my experiment, the highest I saw it peak at was a uh, 0.7 of one volt. And that's not much at all. That's why I never really pursued a, a wind turbine. You see it's uh, spinning a little bit right up there. And it's uh, pretty windy today for my area. It's pretty windy. And I'm really not getting much power out of it. See, not much at all. Actually none right now. But uh, I'm thinking I may, I don't know. I might end up just buying some blades or maybe trying to fix these blades here, these PVC blades. 
But uh, let me show you my uh, rotating system I have worked out on here. All right, guys, that's just a little uh, look at the voltage right there. It peaked at uh, 0.4, spinning up right now, but not really much at all. When you saw it spinning at 0.4, it was uh, spinning. Yeah, I guess you could say it's about average for me, but uh, just want, thought I'd show you the voltage real quick on it. All right, so here's my rotating system, my makeshift Lazy Susan. Hopefully you can see that there's a couple washers there. That's what I'm using for it to rotate. And uh, up here on top, just got me a long wood screw there. So that's what I'm using. I'm actually liking this system so far. It's uh, working out very well, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you my rotating system for now. Uh, that was the hole where you saw the uh, white PVC pipe uh, took out right there. You can see it right there by my solar panels. Um, but that's a hole for it. Uh, like I said, this is not permanent, so see, I still have the uh, end of my PVC pipe open, but this is just for testing purposes right now. Might uh, possibly keep that mounting system down in there with the two washers. Cause I'm kind of liking it, to be honest with you guys. But <laughs> I don't know. Might still buy the Lazy Susan for it. But yeah, guys, uh, just uh, thought I'd show you a little testing of the prototype here. Um, all in all, I believe I'm going to have to get me some more blades for it. Possibly buy it, or maybe I can see if I can shape the blades. I'd hate to buy it. Um, but yeah, this is really why I didn't really get uh, serious with wind power. Because where I live, I really don't get that much wind. I mean, this is a very windy day for me. I mean, I know a lot of people that live on the coast and shorelines, you probably get a lot more wind than me, but see, that's about as much wind as I get. That's a lot of wind for me. And this is one of those days that are really windy. I mean, any other day, solar's a lot better for me personally, because where I live, it's not windy much at all. There's a little shot of the voltage it was peaking, but uh, yeah guys, just a little testing of the uh, prototype, or not prototype, but uh, DIY wind turbine. Just gonna talk a little bit about the wind turbine project here. I know in the last video I said I'll probably uh, get some blades for the wind turbine, but uh, I've changed my mind on that. I'm thinking I'm just gonna call it uh, complete for now, cause um, been thinking about this wind turbine a lot here lately about uh actually i took a break from it for about two weeks just thinking about the uh blade and seeing if it's really worth it for me to get uh blades for this wind turbine and um honestly it's really not i don't get much wind up here as i said i believe in the last video um I really don't get much wind at all solar is a lot better for me that's just my 45 watt kit i'm about to uncover it here in a minute um, but solar is just a lot better for me than wind. The only time I really get wind is during a storm. So, um, <clears throat> it's just really just not worth it for me. I mean, if I buy the charge controller for it, it'll be, <clears throat> excuse me, be about like $50 at least for a cheap one. Um, blades will be $70 for this. Uh, now, I'm not knocking wind power by no means. I really wanted to do it. That's why I was experimenting with the, uh, building my own turbine here and for that matter that's why I didn't buy it because I, I knew starting out in this project it's really not worth it for me um, now people that live on the coast um, it'll probably be good for people out there and people in windy conditions on flat open areas but you see I got trees just right over there I mean I have trees all around this <coughs> excuse me all around my property here way out there in the front more trees way out there I got trees all the way around it. So, I mean, really, I, I was just not in the ideal, I'm not in the ideal location for wind power at all. Um, but uh, as far as this goes, uh, that's how I was building my wind turbine. I don't think this really needs is blades, maybe possibly a lighter hub. I consider getting a lighter hub for it. Um, but yeah, if you guys were wanting to build this, it will work, you just need to get a, uh, some better blades possibly a lighter hub assembly for your blades and uh tower actually uh pretty good so 
Uh, I'm going to pause it real quick and show you how I had my uh, mounting system. All right, so here was my makeshift mounting system here. I had a, this isn't the actual tail, but I just had a hole drilled through the two by four there. And I had a couple of washers there and the wood would sit on top of the washers like that and it would swivel. And uh, I didn't have any problems with it. So uh, ideally you would want to have at least a Lazy Susan up here, which that's how I was going to do it, have a Lazy Susan. But uh, even this mountain system here works out really good. So just something to know about my uh, swivel mountain system. But yeah, guys, there you go. That's the uh, final project ending um, for the wind turbine here. It just uh, really have to think about it for a couple weeks. Really just wouldn't be worth it for me. It's not even worth me putting my money into it. Well, I could be using that for my uh, solar power experiments and projects. But anyways, uh, there it is. So if you got any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching.